into the month of Halloween. Here at Trojan Arcade, we take this as a glorious opportunity to scare the bejesus out of one another in the spirit of the season. First, we made our annual pilgrimage to Universal Studios Hollywood Halloween Horror Nights. That was for you, Jesse. First take. Then we brought back Resident Evil 7, one on a prestige list of games that made me scream while watching a playthrough. A playthrough. I am way too empathetic. It's because I'm a cancer. And finally, the game I've certainly been waiting for, Cuphead. Cuphead and Mugman have come to fight the devil, but was it worth the wait? I hope so. But first, as per usual, our shining men of porcelain and ivory, my two co-hosts, Matthew and Matt. Don't get them mixed up, that's racist. Let's hear the news. I'm Matthew Carreri. And I'm Matt Linton. And this is your week in video game news. Watch out, Rebel Scum! A new story trailer for Star Wars Battlefront 2 has come out, and it's showing some juicy details. The trailer shows the campaign's main character is Aiden Versio, leaning, learning about the Empire's downfall and his secret plan to destroy the Rebellion in case of his death. Though the scenes show nothing new in terms of gameplay, it does raise a lot of questions. What exactly is the Emperor's plan? How does the Empire change after becoming the New Order? Will the Emperor learn to stop making Death Stars when they have never worked out before? And is any of this canon? At least we know the answers will come, at least one of those questions will be answered when the rest of the game comes out later this month. In order to confuse our audience with the shitty naming structure of the video game industry, the original Star Wars Battlefront II, the one from 2005, has just had its multiplayer servers on Steam re-enabled. That's right, if you want to commit Wookiee genocide in all of its pixelated but perfectly crafted glory, feel free to head back over to your Steam account and fire up the old Galactic Conquest maps of your youth. And just remember, after DICE inevitably lets you down, the night Star Wars Battlefront 2 is released, feel free to shut down Origin, head back over to your Steam account, and fire up the good version of the Star Wars universe. It's the start of the new month, and you know what that means. Free games for Xbox Live Gold members. Keep in mind that one of September's free games with gold, Oxenfree, will still be available on Xbox One until October 15th. Gone Home will be free all month on Xbox One and other Xbox One games. The Turing Test, which will be free from October 16th to November 15th. On Xbox 360, Rayman 3 HD will be free October 1st to 15th. Medal of Honor will be free from October 16th to 31st. The Olympic Committee is considering adding eSports to the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. Supporters say that this would attract a younger audience and boost ratings, but controversy still surrounds the legitimacy of the sport. The ominously sounding Olympic Council of Asia included eSports in their recent Asian Indoor Games, and although the turnout was low, supporters and fans emphasize that the viewer base is growing. However, the odds are low. Let me ask you though, the Olympics already feature quote unquote sports like speed walking and Matt's favorite, rhythmic gymnastics. Would adding a video game segment really detract that much? If anything, it would probably add half the population of South Korea to the ratings. I rest my case. I think, I think speed walking is a real sport. You're the only one? Bully. Here at Trojan Arcade, we make an annual journey to Universal Studios Hollywood Halloween Horror Nights, first take, where we get to walk around, hold on to each other like there's no tomorrow, and scream. Sounds like a great Friday night. I refuse to go with the crew this year because somehow I always get pushed towards the scary guys, so I went with my friends instead. And they did the exact same thing. Let's see how the crew fared. I'm Lex Rhodes. Guy Ross, we've got Sam Ship behind the camera here at Universal Studios Hollywood Halloween Horror Nights. This is Sam in my third year running, so we're seasoned pros. We're not scared. Sky, how are you holding up? I'm honestly terrified. <laughs> Let's fire up the GoPros and head on in. Lex, you ready? Sky, you ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh God, no. No! Why do we have to be first? God Give me your hot take. Honestly, scary? 
but it's done so well, so it's like fun. What do you think, Lex? It makes you feel alive, like avoiding your death. Hi. Hi. We're filming, filming you. Hey. Oh, hey, we're vloggers. Oh, we're, we're vloggers. YouTubing. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're YouTube. YouTube. What are we about to do? We're about to go on the terror, Titans of Terror Trail. They're Titans. By Chuck and Titans. And they're terrified. <laughs> Okay, so whatever you do, don't scream. Do not scream. Oh my god. That would hurt his eyes. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh! Oh, I was unprepared for that. Oh boy. <laughs> he got me. I knew it. Wait, that was the Bates Motel. Yeah. Wow, good job, Sam. Thank you. I knew my film references. That's what cinema majors do. Hi, guys. Whoa! Oh, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like Why him. so old. I don't like him. What the fuck? He's gonna get you. <laughs> 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 All right, so how are you holding up? Great. At first, I was like really scared because I haven't been to uh, a haunted house ever, and this has been great. I love it. How are you doing? I'm kind of scared. You're a little. <laughs> what am I? You're a little. Where are we going? We're going to Universal Studios Hollywood Halloween Horror Night. No, sweetheart. This guy's an idiot. We're about to go on the mummy. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a breakdown of the Transformer Cinematic Universe. IDW is in phase two, which means there's post-war. The Autobots and Decepticons are no longer playing. It's a new age. Everything's going to be back to normal. Where are we going? Universal Studios Hollywood. 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 Why don't you consider the Bayverse a part? Because Michael Bay is terrible. We looking clean. We looking clean. When we go shopping, you want me to buy that bag, huh? Oh, Do we just walk in? Yeah. Oh, God. That was stupid. We stopped, why we stopped? There was too many people from us. I think we might have to amputate. <laughs> Alright, so I'm holding the GoPro, which means I go in the front. Thankfully, it's just a shining, so hopefully it won't be too scary, but we'll see what happens. All work and no He's right there, guys. Consensus is that it wasn't scary um, because it's guy just the guy. Says that she's freaking her way <laughs> It wasn't scary. No, it was. That's the problem. We either have like a guy that doesn't look like Jack Nicholson going, whoa, <laughs> or we have like a mask that doesn't look like Jack Nicholson going, whoa. <laughs> it's, it's an inferno in an urban setting. Is it like a party? I don't think it's a party, Sky. I think it's a cult. Ah, <laughs> I had to sneeze. Sneeze? I couldn't sneeze. No. Oh, oh, yard. Oh. Oh. I love Satan. Can you say Satan? Oh. 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 Wait, wait, did she hit you? You hit him? <laughs> you hit him? Oh my god. Whoa. That was very close, sir. <laughs> yeah, I think you got it. Oh, you're gonna be 
Thank you. Well, that looked fun. <laughs> a little more fun than I had. Um, you guys didn't go because you're losers. True. Because mm -hmm. you can't handle horror. That's true. I actually did. I've pretty much gone to Halloween Horror Nights like every year since freshman year, which is crazy. Um, I had a good time this year. I really liked the mazes. I didn't like the Terror Tram. What is the Terror Tram? I actually don't know. The Terror like. For Halloween Horror Nights, what they do is they transform the studio tour into, like, the Terror Tram, where oh. basically you get on, and they drive you down to, like, the lot where the sets are, and then they're like, all right, go die, and then you walk through, and eventually you end up back at the tram that takes you back up to the park. And this year, the theme was, like, Titans of Terror, so it was Chucky, Leatherface, um, Freddy and Jason. Yeah. So the Camp Crystal Lake section was cool because for that they did Bates, they transformed the Bates Motel, Motel area. Yeah. Um, but the problem I had when I went is because I went when it was pretty busy. And so at one point we all got like crowded near one area and like didn't move. So there were Freddy's like walking around in costume, which was like <laughs> spooky, <laughs> but like we were there for like 10 minutes. <laughs> so it got not scary. Oh, and then you're just like, oh, God. And See? then I was like, there he, there he is again. I made a good joke about how the real, because one of them was dressed in, like, a military uniform. So I made a joke about how the real horror is the military industrial complex. I thought that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a chance to go through all the mazes? Um, we went through all the ones on the lower lot. We didn't go through the ones on the upper lot. So we did, I have this handy graphic for me. Um, <laughs> we did Ash vs. Evil Dead. We did American Horror Story. We did Shining. Um... Jabberwockies? That's the dance crew. Yeah, the Jabberwockies like perform at Horror Nights every year. Oh, I was like, that's they not don't very have a maze. That's They're not, not very scary. scary. <laughs> I mean, the masks are kind of weird. Yeah. Um, and then we did the Walking Dead, which is like the permanent scary attraction, which, as per usual, was like scary. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I had a good time. How was The Shining? The Shining was really good. It was basically step a walkthrough of the movie, Ooh. but they did a really good job of it. I Did had a you good scream, time. Uh, here's Johnny? There actually, like, there were dudes running through the maze with, like, Jack Nicholson masks oh on. My God. <laughs> That's kind of like, funny, actually. And, like, carrying the axe. And it, I mean, in retrospect, it was funny. But when you're going through the maze, it's terrifying. Yeah. Because he literally would just, like, pop out of a window. Um, oh, and then there was one that was basically. Oh, and then we went through the um, Blumhouse one, which was The Purge, Happy Death Day, and the third one, the other one that's coming out. I already forgot. But The oh, Purge by itself is pretty scary. I yeah. bet. So I had masks. a good time. Do you guys do, because you were just telling me you cannot handle horror at all. I like, so I like playing the games, but generally if there's a horror game out, I'll just watch walkthroughs mm -hmm. on YouTube and get like a bit in and stop like i watched amnesia i watched Pewdie everyone watched pewdiepie play amnesia for a I while didn't. i uh i watched um i watched some uh, uh and we played some resi 7 mm -hmm. um, which is terrifying especially in vr and then i played prey i actually played prey which isn't that scary but in that the enemies are kind of aliens that can transform into household objects yeah. so you're walking and you'll pass like a coffee mug and it'll just jump out and latch on your face. So by the end of the game, you're just <laughs> smashing coffee mugs and paper clips and anything you think that could be one. This sounds more like Office Simulator. Exactly. Than it was more of an Office Simulator than a horror game. Ugh. Yeah. I've yet to I've yet to finish Resi, but you seem to have had a great time. So maybe or even pick it up. So maybe I will finally play it. I don't know. I just have a list of games too long to play. I still haven't finished Doom. Oh and man. And Doom can also get really freaky I can't sometimes. Stop talking about Doom. I love Doom. Awesome. I'm having a great time. I just need to finish it. Right. <laughs> um, and then I got you guys into Dead by Daylight. Um, Outlast. I have not finished. Surprisingly. Still, someday I'll finish it. One but do day. I want to? No. 
I hope you're sufficiently spooked by all the talk of scary things because I need a candy corn break. We will be right back. Hi there, Vinny here. You may know me from my other products like the Key Rope. I've got an amazing new product for you that you can't afford to miss. Are you tired of all these remotes? Look at them, they're crazy. What are you, Patrick Seward? Come on, they got like 10 with like six different buttons. You can't do all that math, that's a load of garbage. You can't deal with this. You're the junior VP of sales at Janice Montgomery Scott, who just wants to dance. <laughs> you know the kid in, Bro in Bronx Tales? Actually, he's not even Italian, he's Colombian. Ditch these born remotes and make out like a Rocky Mountain goat at Christmas. This is a new Trojan Vision Sensation Infrared Transmitting Remote Control Device. Sis. So you come home from work, long day at work. You just want to watch some Trojan Vision. You just press one button. Boom, TV's on. No complicated math. Want to pause A? Maybe press the pause A button. My cousin did the pause A button. You want to turn it off? It's over. Press the off button. Just one button. And for all you health nerds out there, that's right. Get this. Trojan Vision Remote, 100% gluten-free. That's right. We tried to make one with gluten. Look, doesn't even work. Now call now and get this amazing remote for just $19.99. And call in the next 15 minutes, and we'll include a photo of me at my niece Angelina's wedding, free of charge. Come on, guys, I can't do this all day. Trojan Vision, guaranteed to be good for your money. Yeah, no, seriously, I, I can't be here all day. Yeah, no, 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 I, 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 I really, really, uh, look, I got this thing going on the side. Like, use library books, okay? I, you just go in, right? You get like a, something like *To Kill a Mockingbird*. You check it out for like a, like a, like a two weeks. They don't, they don't care. They don't care about that book. Right, you flip that book, give it to a student, like fifteen cents. You make fifteen cents. I make like fifteen cents like every two days. It's amazing. It's just like they, they, they hemorrhage money. It's incredible. Resident Evil 7 was a smashing success when it was released earlier this year. That's my IGN voice. You like oh. it? Uh, a welcome <laughs> refresh to the classic series. I wanted to do Halloween in April, but no one listens to me. So we decided to save our replay until Halloween proper, which, how convenient. Linton was too scared to go to Horror Nights, so joined by Resident Evil expert Sean, we made him play instead. I heard you cried. Did you cry? Uh, I, no comment. I hope you cried. No comment. Let's see it. What's up, YouTube? Since I was a little too scared this past Friday to go to Halloween Horror Nights with the rest of the crew, I'm being forced to play Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. And joining me here today is Resident Evil expert, Sean Morgan Thaler. Hey, how's it going? So, Sean, uh, are you ready to get into this? Oh, absolutely. I've been ready for a lot of time. Okay, well then, let's get to it. But, uh, Block his path. Man like you Don't go. You stick with me. He's pushing me. He's strong. No. <laughs> Who wears this kind of attire? We haven't worked out in years. Yeah. He's got the skinny tie, though. I respect yeah. that. No, skinny but, black tie. I'm talking about the skinny black tie. Well, look where we are. Oh, yeah. Put no, on a real, like, part How part am I stuff. filming if... <laughs> <laughs> He's got the GoPro okay. attachment. Yeah. He's got the head on, um... The we should play the whole it? game like this. Yeah, that's a hard no. <laughs> no. No. Am I forced to? No, no. no. Nah. <laughs> you go first. Okay, oh, he's, he's forcing me. Oh, he's making me go first. Wait, I, I remember this You could just wait. Wait, you could just wait. Coming down the ladder. I can't, I can't look at this. No, you No, have look, to. look, oh my god. No, no look at him. No, Sean, you do it. Oh, okay. I respect you. Uh, I don't want to get out of here. I'm not going to I think it breaks. It doesn't. Yeah, only one of them. And that's how he broke his back. Oh, like. What, who think, who would do this? This man is going to great lengths to save a girlfriend that probably never really cared about no, him no, in the first place. No, 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 he was probably her, don't go under her side. Maybe it's fine, nothing's gonna happen. I think something is. Nothing's gonna happen. You're overreacting. Obviously. Oh, Jesus. I just farted. Just, like, give He's gassy, Chipotle. Uh, we're gonna use a fake idea. <laughs> yeah, use the, use the, uh, use the, uh, burn first that we found earlier on that chain. This is like a Sierra adventure. Oh, like, is she, oh, is she gonna be, like, deformed? No, I think she's fine. I, I mean, they uh, put her in a sanitarium. I'm yeah, sure she's dirty. mentally stable. Her bed looks filthy. Hey, she's hey, sleeping. Yeah, she's oh, oh, ew! She's probably dead. Look at her shoes. Let's see. Oh, she's oh, just Ethan. as beautiful as ever. And Let's pick up this doll, too. Let's pick up every single doll. No. Let's see Come on. We only have cer a certain amount of time. Oh. No, leave me alone. Yeah, what else is in there? Wait, do you not hear what? No, I did hear, but I just don't <laughs> care. 
Yeah, it's like, oh, my wife was taken. Oh well. <laughs> oh well, too bad. Oh, too well. She didn't come in here with me yet? Yeah. Baby, where'd you go? No, I, I don't no, know. You're, you're, you're playing. Dude, I'm not. I'm, no, you're playing. This part is terrifying. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. No, I, this is exactly. I don't want. You have to play this part. I'm sorry. No. I'm not playing it. No. I'm not playing it. Open the door, Matt. I think it's Open this. the no, door. It's this Dude, it's this one. You're playing. Open the door. Dude, it's, it's terrifying. Uh, slow descent. Hey, baby. You in there, baby? No, you can you can see her. You can't. You can't. can't. Look, there she is. She's walking. Oh God! Look. You <laughs> wow, that's some reach. Oh my God. <laughs> Baby girl really was doing athletic training. Um. No! Oh my God! Oh, she's she's <laughs> mad. <laughs> I think it's pretty clear. Never, under any circumstances, can you trust your girlfriend. Especially if she has a knife. It's too bad. You'll have to ask her every time. But this man is a textbook example of how some people just run up to the challenge. I am not a I am a little That's what they call me. And to be honest, I am done with this game. That was an hour of pure hell. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. I am going to soak myself in a bath. Be sure to put some bath salts in. Oh, no. Or some of that stew. Some of that nice stew we had earlier. Cuphead! Cuphead, Cuphead, Cuphead. Let's have something cheerful and lighthearted after all the spooks and scary things so far. And it's only like the beginning of October. We're just getting started. Mm -hmm. I've been obsessed with Cuphead ever since it was first announced. So obsessed I can't even remember where or when it was announced. But Cuphead is a spectacular combination of classic side-scroller games and those really freaky propaganda cartoons from the 1930s. And after quite a few delays, it is finally out. Here is our review. I want to be up front with everyone. I have not truly enjoyed playing a video game since Uncharted 4. Sure, I've played many games and had more than a few fun moments, but none of these games have been able to capture me. None have been able to suck me in in the same way that each new release would back in my middle school days. I keep wondering, is it the games are not very good, or have I simply fallen out of love with the medium? I want the, a game that keeps me up at night, thinking about the next level to be played, the next adventure to undertake, or the next boss to come. It is in this stark mindset that I undertook the review of Cuphead. Cuphead, the first game released by Studio MDHR, seriously, don't ask me what that stands for, is addicting. It has been able to give me the feeling that few other games have been able to match. Pure, hard-earned achievement. The emphasis here, in case you haven't realized from the other reviews that you have seen thus far, is on the hard. Cuphead is difficult. Like, very, very, very difficult. So difficult that even after 14 hours put in over this weekend to try to prepare for this review, I've only f finished 37% of the game. What's more, in that 37%, I've died more than 600 times. 600 times of repeating the same boss battles over and over and over again. The game has a very simple structure. So simple, in fact, that developers are able to summarize the entire plot in a little song. Take a listen. By chance they came on a devil's game and gosh they paid the price. Paid the price. And now they're fighting for their lives on a mission fraught with dread. And if they proceed but don't succeed, well... The devil will take their heads. See? Simple. Cuphead and his pal Mugman lost a game to the devil and now have to go collect the souls of the devil's other debtors if they want to survive. Each debtor is broken off into its own multi-stage boss battle. The goal? Learn the stage's strategies, shoot loads at the boss battle until he transforms into his next level, and then repeat. Lather, rinse, and repeat. Simple. 
The bosses, as well as the heroes, are gorgeously rendered in the classic Hollywood cell animation style. Each object in the screen, from the rear projected background to the out of focus foreground, all the way to the boss's death sequence, is painstakingly rendered to look like the classic Walt Disney cartoons of yore. But don't let this wolf in sheep's clothing fool you. While the animation might make it look like a Saturday morning cartoon, this game is not designed for children. You realize this fact shortly after starting any boss. While the screen might look stunning from the spectators around you, the foreground and background quickly fade away as you focus in on anything that might kill Cuphead, which is a lot. Cuphead is given three lives to begin with, and once hit by any object on the screen, one life is taken from you. Like that. No fuss, no way back to earn it. It is simply gone till the end of the boss fight. And while this bullet hell concept and short duration of a well-played boss fight might at first appear like the retro games of many clips gone by, the game is so much more than that. The game is perfectly laid out so that the players always feel in complete control. When I die, it always feels like it is my fault, as if I pushed the wrong button. That is, after the player shifts the initial controller layout to move the shooter mechanic to the shoulder buttons. I mean, come on. This game would be simply impossible if I had to stop shooting every time that Cuphead needed to jump. I rarely felt cheated by this game. I say rarely due to the randomization of some boss fight. On certain key levels, the game will vary the stages of the bosses presented and the environmental hazards that you and your friends have to deal with. While this concept does enable for some amount of replayability, it makes me feel slighted when I get to the end of a near perfect run but have to restart after I receive a tougher than average random selection. It is in these moments where I truly truly wanted to break my controller in half, rip the Xbox cables out of the wall, and throw the console out my sixth floor balcony. To help control your seething amounts of rage, Cuphead allows you to experience the game in a couch co-op multiplayer mode, where you control Cuphead and your closest friends control Mugman. This has both benefits and drawbacks. On one hand, your buddy can save you if you die by double jumping over the spectral image of your floating corpse. To be honest, this one mechanic leads to some of the best moments I've ever had in gaming. On several occasions, my partner and I barely made it through an intense boss battle, trading off lives left and right. I would die, and he would save me. Then moments later, he would die, and I would have to save him. It was an absolute blast. But on the other hand, with two players on the screen, it is all but impossible to actually know what is going on. The screen descends into absolute chaos, with bullets flying this way and that. What's even worse is the only difference between Cuphead and Mugman is the different colored shirt. I mean, come on, it is literally impossible to distinguish between the two when you're both flying across the screen and your bodies are partially obscured by the foreground. If there's one thing I can promise you, this game makes you scream. It will make you cry. It will make you jump with joy. While not a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination, this is the single most fun I have had in a video game in a very long time. Every time, it makes me so mad I want to quit the game and delete it from my hard drive, it somehow works its way into my brain, makes me want to play just one more level, just one more where I can apply the skills I have learned after falling so many hard-earned times. We give Cuphead 10 quirky acapella jingles out of 10. That was it for Trojan Arcade this week. One more? Too bad, we have class. Go we'll binge our episodes on Trojan Vision like a normal person. I'm Alma Carranza, that white dude's Matthew Carreri, that white dude's Matt Linton, and this was another spectacular episode of the best college television show in the universe. Please don't fact check that. We will see you next week. watching Trojan Vision. For more of your favorite shows, check us out at trojanvision.com and like us on Facebook.